region's largest theatre is warning it needs a quarter of a million pounds a month just to keep going. The Theatre Royal in Plymouth says it has to lose around 100 jobs as a result of the pandemic and there's been widespread high-profile reaction. The comedian and chat show host James Corden tweeted this is utterly heartbreaking and in Cornwall the world-famous Minac Theatre has branded the continued ban on live performances as ludicrous. Our correspondent Ben Wall has more. The theatre like no other, on this the perfect day for an outdoor performance. But in a setting some might describe as delicious, thoughts turn to something many find a bit disgusting. Well, so the guidance is talking very much about the issues between an actor on stage projecting and obviously, therefore, what they might be projecting into the front row of the audience. Spitting. Basically, yes, it's what comes out of their mouths in terms of droplets. Obviously, if you're projecting to try and fill a theatre like this, you're, the droplets are likely to travel further. But obviously, as you can tell here, you know, I'm metres away from the front row of the theatre, so it does feel very illogical. In Plymouth, a third of staff at the Theatre Royal, 110 of them, have been told their jobs are at risk. With uh, Boris saying that theatres can open but without live performances is, is quite frankly laughable. I mean, uh, theatres are for live performance, so saying that you can open but you can't do performances is, is, is a joke. A campaign for emergency funding from government is being led by one of the theatre's brand new playwrights. It's really early on in my career and I was just about to have things on before lockdown happened. So I'm aware there'll be a lot of people in my position who have had to fight their way to be in this industry because they're not from you know, upper class backgrounds uh, who will be affected. They'll have to leave the industry, I think. There isn't yet any talk of redundancies at the MINAC. What's done on the cliff face here is not, on the face of it, a matter of life and death. But they say the contribution they make to our mental health must not be forgotten.